not solid and organized enough, was that top side or underside? Okay. So if you were a carousel pole, think of your core like a carousel pole. The carousel pole goes down to the bottom of her tummy. If she takes a step like this, what happens to the bottom of the carousel pole? Okay, and you're the top of the carousel pole, and what do you do? Right, which your body would love to do. So as you walk on, your aim in life is to be a really good carousel pole, heading right down to the bottom of her tummy, making it impossible for her to lengthen her tummy. Right. Okay, hold. We've got a couple more good steps. So if I trace the line across the back of your butt here, where the back of your butt's on the saddle, there mustn't be any more butt than that going down. When you topple backwards, more butt goes down. Top side or underside? Okay, I would say it was top side for the first three steps. You're the carousel pole. Okay. Now that when you topple back, you're going to look at that on the video and see your bum go back on the saddle where I traced the line and said it mustn't touch. Okay, so that's her saying you've got me in a topside place. Uh-oh. All right, better. Are you still a good carousel pole? Are you still in control of the speed of the legs? Because she's, yeah, right. Now we're in business. Now we're getting to be in business. Because she's going to try and speed her legs out and accelerate out from under you. Okay, and now we're back on underside again, so let's hold. Could you tell that was more correct? And do you understand how she accelerates out from under you into being underside? Okay, so the speed of her legs has to be kept slow. So you're the carousel pole. If your carousel pole refuses to have the bottom go forward and the top go back, Okay. And you need to be not scared of backwards. You need to be absolutely willing to go backwards. Hold again. So if going backwards really puts her back in a good place and keeps you being a good carousel pole, backwards is fine. And one of the things you're going to see when you look at this on video is that her tail is carried totally differently. There's an awful lot going on here with the tail that's significant. And Hold her again. Whole yeah, so it should. Yeah, it needs to get different in that way, yeah? So we're walking on again, going for top side. Good. Going to keep happening. You've still got to be the carousel pole. You still have to keep the legs slow. She so easily walks into underside. That's better. And it's still not convincing. It, it is not as convincing as those that first step or two. That's better. And the neck has to get different, and the tail has to get different. Now it's getting convincing. Hold again. Okay. So as you walk on, you're being the carousel pole. You get to a board and underside transition. She tells you you're so there on her back. Her back is so up it has to be backwards. And that was very well ridden from backwards to forwards. First two steps were brilliant. Then you lost her a little. She pricked her ears and went a little bit undecided. Only a little, but enough. Hold again. Okay? Don't be scared of backwards. If backwards happens, it's no big deal. You're trying to stay in a good carousel pole place. Good. Can you still be a good carousel pole? Still a good carousel. Still the carousel pole. Still the carousel pole. Still the carousel pole. Pushing the head and neck away and still being the carousel pole. Legs slow. Legs slow. Good. Good. And she's got to feel that she wants to reach. Not that you're holding her head down, but that you're holding her back up so she agrees to reach. And this is closer to the right agreement. How clear is the difference? It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's lovely. Okay. But it has to have a little discussion with her. 